Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel Your Vision. And I'm happy to have here today Marco, the founder of Another One. Hello, Marco. Hi, happy hi, to hi, have you here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Who you are, what is your career, what is your vision, what are you doing? Yeah, uh, let me give you a brief um, introduction of my background and also how I got here. <laughs> so my my background is in corporate finance and M&A, actually, and uh, I've been spending 15 years in investment, uh, advisory, and, um, and also investment banking. Uh, that's, um, that gave me a bit of experience also with the fashion, uh, fashion groups and, uh, and in the fashion industry. Uh, I'm also, um, a huge sneaker collector and passionate about streetwear. So that's how I got the passion with, the um, uh, with sneakers. And that's led me in uh, 2019 to start the, this, uh, this journey that led me to, to create the project that today is another one uh, that at the beginning was more focused on sneakers and, uh, and streetwear, a platform to, to give, provide access uh, to designers, to uh, collectors and, and also uh, brands to, to create new collection. Uh, but then we we switched to, with, with the um, with the, the NFT becoming mainstream and also uh, the the metaverse application. We then uh, pivot the business into creating a platform for creating digital fashion products uh, that can that can give an extensive user experience uh, for consumer and also having possibility for brands to create a deeper connection with their consumer, uh, but also to designer and creators to have access to a launch pad that we, we already have in place where they can create new collection and they can offer those collection to uh, Web3 communities and, uh, and consumer. And Marco, you are using um, your ability to, to create stuff for the metaverse. And I'm sure for both of us, it's not a question that metaverse is coming. Uh, it's more a question when it will come, but it will come and it will be stronger and will be used by um, every, everybody. And I'm sure we will see the breakthrough very soon. And it is important that the people are ready. And with your uh solution with your frigido uh the sneaker uh this is a connection of real life and the metaverse so <clears throat> can you wear this sneaker in the metaverse yeah yeah absolutely so let me let me take a step back because uh, what you said is uh is completely true the metaverse is got is going to be like mainstream we're actually all already in a sort of metaverse um, and we just don't have the, we were, we are already in the metaverse. We, we just didn't have the right technology to use and, um, uh, use the potentiality that we have, we have right now. And, and we're still like at the, at the very beginning. So what we're doing is we are creating a bit of a bridge between the real life and the virtual life. Uh, and that's why we went with a solution that is digital. So uh, you, uh, we, we experienced pure digital NFT sales that we accomplished last year in, uh, in September with a PFP collection. PFP is a profile picture collection, most, mostly known as uh, Body of Your Club or uh, CryptoPunks, CloneX. Those are the most, uh, some of the most famous uh, collections. So there you have just a PNG, a picture, uh, and you become, part of a membership club, right? So it's like the, the communities that you had in a college or university, you just within a group of people that have the same beliefs or they have the same, the same lifestyle, etc. So, uh, converting that into like a complete virtual, uh, experience is still too early because all the metaverse that we, we have all the platforms, also the mainstream sandbox, the central ends and, um, and more. Uh, I have still like low adoption rates uh, because it's probably not that the, the, the audience is probably not ready. So what we do is, as you said, we create digital products 
we create those sneakers that can be worn in real life and in the metaverse. So for example, uh, I have a sample here. Here Great. is one of our uh, sneakers. Uh, it's called Enter One Meta. So this is uh, a collection that we created in, uh, uh, in March this year. Uh, but it's not only physical, it's actually born as a digital asset. So what we created is a digital asset. We created the, the, um, the collection together with a uh, emerging designer from Italy, Lucio Vanotti. He created the, the, the design from scratch. Then we went to the manufacturer, we created the sample, and then we took the sample and we created the 3D model. And then we, we refined the 3D model uh, it, we, we refine the model on, uh, on in the in, in the 3D design uh, environment, and after that we created and adapt the physical product. So the 3D model is actually the real asset that you have that you can wear. In this case, in the central end, that is one of the metaverse, where we also hosted uh, an event during the metaverse fashion week last year in March. Uh, this year in March. Uh, so the buyer of the NFT will have the utility of using the wearable collectible in the central end, uh, because we have something that is called link and wearable API. So simply having the, the NFT in your wallet, the central end will recognize that you have these shoes and will recreate the shoes on your avatar. So your avatar can wear the enter one meta. Then after. Um, after the, the uh, after the sales, we we start the redemption process. So the owner of the NFT can claim the physical asset without paying any any other price, any other cost or shipping cost. We will cover everything. We will take care of the manufacturing and we will ship the product. Now, this is not the complete complete digital experience because to complete the digital experience. We should put, we should talk about the integration of NFC chip in the product. So these these shoes will have have an NFC chip that is on the tongue. So if I scan the NFC chip with my uh, with my phone, I will have a NFC. I don't know if you can see. I will have an NFC uh, tag that will lead me to the activation of the shoe. So once I, I create the activation, uh, my shoe is paired with the NFT, meaning that I have a physical product offline that can interact also with my life online. Just an example, I have a quest for the owner of, of uh, Enter One Meta in the central end where they have to go with, the, with their wallet and with their shoes in joining an event. And then to get the rewards for joining that event, they have to go with the physical shoe in one store, one boutique, or one event that is that is connected to the to the same activation, so that they com can complete the mission that they start online, offline. So this is the full digital experience that we're talking about, and this is what we're trying to give to brands but also to consumer, because it's not only the benefit of the brand to keep trace of the action of the consumer, it's also the opportunity of the consumer to create monetization opportunity through the use of the, their digital item. That's really great. And just for uh, our guests, uh, NFC is a small sticker or a tag and it is secure and safe for the people. So you cannot track and trace the person with uh, GPS tracking. So you have to come very close at about 10 centimeters or four inches. Five centimeters. Or five yeah, centimeters. It's scanning. Yeah. So this is also very safe for the people who are wearing it. But it's a really great solution to, to connect the real world with metaverse and, and it's really fantastic. And Marco, you also did some projects in the past, uh, like connecting the sneaker head. Um, can you tell us what you did for pro which projects you did? Some something else, and and where is your journey going to? Yeah. So let's say that we started with uh, in September last year 
with the project that is called the Sneaker Society, or in short, TSS. That is a collection of uh, NFT for 1,444 um, um, that's uh, let's say express the the vibe of uh, the, the streetwear sneaker fans, sneaker lover, uh, what we call hype beast, and uh, it was it was all it was all directed to put uh, to bring together uh, sneaker fan and streetwear fan in an environment where they can talk about their their favorite sneaker, their favorite collection, their favorite brands, or even their favorite. Um, um, the, the favorites, let's say, the, the way, the lifestyle, it's more, it, it's more like on a, on a lifestyle base. It was a community project to bring those people in a, a to get, to bring those people together in a community and then uh, having them interacting in, uh, um, with, with our platform, with another one platform. That's really great. That's a fantastic journey, Marco. And you offer the service also to to other companies who wanna do who wanna who wanna go on their journey to Web three. Yeah, yeah, we Web3. can we can offer we can offer that to brands, but also uh, one offering that is uh, there's actually was something coming up lately, um, especially with all this uh, crypto winter where NFTs are yes still mainstream, still important, but are not yet there. So uh, consumers are still uh, a, a little bit uh, skeptic on the adoption. So uh, another way is also for the manufacturers, the B2B business uh, to create a product with our technology, with the embedding the NFC chip and also using our uh, infrastructure for accessing benefits for those digital products to create an offering for brands where they say, I can give, I can produce for you this item, but I also can produce this item to be a digital item. So we can have the, the, the reverse experience where the consumer goes to the boutique, buy the item and then scan, receive the NFT and unlock the uh, digital experience. Uh, and this could happen for brands, for manufacturers, for manufacturers that want to create a uh, brand, so they want to turn from B2B to B2B2C, or for brands that want to create, a, let's say, a division for the Web3, and some brands like Diesel, for example, already created uh, with Decave, uh, that is a branch of Diesel, just focusing on uh, digital assets and uh, digital uh, and digital uh, products. So brands that want to create a sub brands that is Web3 native fashion brands, we can help also brands doing that. So the, the proposal is, that could be could be different, but the important thing is that we create an ecosystem where all the stakeholders can interact and can take advantage uh, of uh, of the of the community. Let's say that's great to connect everybody uh, into the project. Marco, you also have another feature, uh, which is called become a creator. Can you tell us yes. a little bit about it? Yeah, absolutely. So taking, taking this a step back to the entire one meta experience where we had the, the designer that helped us to create this design of shoe become a creator is a, is a feature that we, we are implementing in our websites that will be available hopefully by the end of the year, um, where Designer can uh, can start can can send us their their model. Uh, they can they can they can upload their portfolio. Now, uh, the the goal of the become a creator module is to allow those designer to first earn visibility. So once we we receive all the um, all, all the assets uh, created by those designer, we create we will create a gallery. And the gallery will be exposed to all our ecosystem. So first of all is visibility. Second of all is creating challenges where we have either one of our internal challenge because we want to create a, a specific asset, and we want to crowdsource the design from our designer community. So the winner of the uh, of the design uh, of uh, of the competition will will create a design of a digital product or digital product with us on on the other side 
we also can create connection with the brands that work with us, where our offering is not only the Web3 communities and creating the, the digital experience, but it's also crowdsourcing of design, where they can actually take, uh, take a look of uh, the gallery that we have and select those design that best reflect the, uh, their idea or the concept for a Web3 uh, product or a Web3 strategy. Uh, and this is something that is already happening because uh, if you take Artifact, that is one of the most advanced uh, projects in the in the digital fashion that was recently acquired by Nike, uh, they they started to to create this um, the, um, the, this let's say crowdsourcing of design through like their creators app, where creators uh, can play around with their um, with their asset or the avatar and they can dress them. And then Nike lately uh, just came out with this new model that is dot swoosh. That is not nothing else than exactly what, we, what we're doing, become a creator. The difference is that Nike is doing that for Nike. We can create this module for interacting with different brands and different uh, and and, That's great. Uh, and our creator community so it's more inclusive it's not just limited to That's great. to one brand or focus on one brand that's fantastic and we will also uh put the link uh downside that all the designers can contact you and using the possibility become a creator marco Thank you very much for the insights and the vision of another one. It is really a great story. I really like it. And hopefully we meet soon again on, a, on a, an event wearing the sneakers. And thank you very much for the interview. Thank you, George. Thank you for the opportunity. And uh, hopefully we, we, can, we can connect later because we, we're going to have a lot of news. We're like very... Uh, advancing a very fast pace as it is the Web3 uh, industry. So uh, I, I'll be more than happy to share with you our latest news uh, later on. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Marco. Thank you, George.